Hi, Dad. Hi, Sam. It's well, been a minute. <laughs> yeah. Welcome back. Um, yeah, you've been up in um, getting ready for school. It's good mm -hmm. to see you. And your break here. Yes. And, uh, and so therefore we do videos. <laughs> and therefore we do videos. Yes. People have been asking for you. So yeah. I might as well. Um, I'm honored. <laughs> keep them happy. I don't really want you around, but I'll do it for them. I know, I just cause a big mess in your house. Kind of, yeah. <laughs> um, and you get to see my delightful dog. I love your dog. <laughs> um, so, what I've got here, it's actually been keeping me up at night. I've been trying to figure out a way to test amplifiers. And you look at specs, are like 1% distortion, 0 0.1, a clip. What does it sound like? The, what does clipping sound like? Yeah. And you've heard PAs overloading. You hear, you've heard sound systems distorting. But what does that distortion sound like by itself? Mm -hmm. What if we mm -hmm. take all the music out and just purely listen to the distortion? What does that 0.1 or 1% sound like? And then also, what's the difference between various amps? Like, how does an older amp distort? Does it distort the same or different than mm -hmm. the new modern mm -hmm. lightweight amps? Um, and you can, it's not just how something operates. It's how it, it's how it operates when pushed in the real world. So if you have something that sounds mm -hmm. wonderful, but then you drive it hard and it sounds like crap, it That's might different not be than using... something that might be sounding maybe like pretty decent, but doesn't like but can handle a lot. If it sounds okay all the way through and you can push it really hard, yeah. maybe that's a better tool for the yeah. job. So this is kind of a cool way. I finally figured out a cool way to test amps and just hear mm -hmm. the problems. Okay. Uh, so what I got is a music player. You can um, hear. Oh, that's not music. <laughs> music. Uh, and uh, I've got pink noise. I've got a popper. Uh, it's pulse. Pulse popper? Yeah, pulse popper. And I've got tone. Um, running into this mixing board, out of the mixing board, into the amp. It's going out of the mixing board. This is going into one channel, and this is going into the other channel of the amp out of the amp into this wiring contraption here. And I've got an eight ohm load on channel one and okay. an eight ohm load on channel two. And then I've got this uh, L Acoustics monitor on the floor over here. Mm -hmm. Instead of hooking it up to channel one or channel two, it's actually hooked up between the two hots okay. of the outputs. Now, normally when you'd hook across the hot to ground and hot to ground or mm -hmm. hot to cold, hot to cold, but by hooking across the two hots, that's the crux of this whole test. Okay. Because if you just turn on channel one, we can hear it. And if you just turn on channel two, we can hear it. Mm -hmm. But if we turn on channel one and then bring up channel two. It's cancellating. Can't, can't, it's, it's cancellating. cancellating. It is. Mm -hmm. Basically, the spe since the speaker's hooked between the two hots, mm -hmm. it's listening to the difference between channel one and two. And As opposed to the difference between, or it, it's, it's only catching what isn't the same between the two signals. Exactly. And now that requires us to set these volume knobs real perfect. Mm -hmm. But by setting them there, I can turn this amp up really yeah. loud. And what does that sound like when we aren't canceling out. Oh. Is it super loud? Oh yeah, like the amps. Oh yeah, to watch, it's... To watch. Yeah. And that's just, it gets. That's, that's a new a, way to mix. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> reduction mixing. Yeah. Everything's full blast all the time and you just turn <laughs> things down to get it louder. You know, people have fader creep. This would be the opposite. You work your faders down. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, so by doing this, now we're gonna take it a step further. Right now, We've just got it hooked up across the two hots, mm -hmm. and I've got two 8 ohm loads. But those 8 ohm loads are actually 4 ohm loads in series. So if I move this speaker lead wherever this is, this one here. In this beautiful spaghetti yeah, mess. in the spaghetti mess. And I move it here, uh, down there. Then mm -hmm. what we'll do is we're actually going to listen to the hot, the output of channel 1. Okay and half of the output of channel two, halfway between the two loads. I've got two four okay. ohm loads in series, so we've got it attached in between. So the full voltage is here, half the voltage drops across the first four ohms and mm -hmm. half drops the second. So I'm listening to the 50% versus the whole. So now 
this voltage will be full voltage, this will be half voltage. When you have half voltage, it's 6 dB down. Okay. So now the meter is got, it's listening to a 6 dB differential. So now what will happen is, when I bring up the music, Okay, so it's going, okay, okay. It has okay. to be 6 dB down to cancel. Got it, all right. But we have the exact same scenario, but one channel has to be driven 6 dB hotter than the other. What's the benefit of this? What? That's a great question. <laughs> <laughs> um, this is going to allow us to turn up the input to the amp and clip one channel without mm. clipping the other. Oh, okay. So that when we're below level, they'll cancel out perfect. But as we bring the level up, one channel will start clipping uh -huh. and the music will cancel out, but the clips will not. Okay, okay. If so we this had is them both the same, the then the test. clips would try and cancel, cancel each other out. I see. Okay, that makes sense. So offsetting this. Got so it. This, so let's try that with um, tone to start with. So first thing I'll do is I'm going to bring up tone. This is a 106 cycle, 107 cycle tone. And we'll bring it up. Now what we'll do is we'll bring up the other side to get a cancellation. That's just going to be a little bit light, lower than the other one. Nice. Okay. And it's, it's really hard. To, oh, you know, I can trim it here. So you're turning it up on the amp or turning just, it down? I'm just making minor adjustments wherever I can mm. to kind of get those Make to it cancel perfect. perfectly. Yeah. Now look at the channel here. Even before the clip light, the clip light's just coming on. Uh huh. And now we have all this noise. And this is what the distortion is. That's the distortion. That's the tone distortion of this amp. Now, let's try that with some other things. So now, we are able to isolate the distortion by itself. Now, I can't bring it up with it distorting because I'll blow out the speaker with mm -hmm. this amp mm -hmm. and it'll be crazy loud and overload everything. <laughs> but this is a way for us to hear. Now, below distortion, it cancels out perfect. Yeah. Or really well. And then once you have that added once factor it, of distortion, it, once that starts to clip, we get that's what's and now we can change the frequency of that. Mm -hmm. And you can see it here on the scope, even though the scope isn't on the video. See that little flat spot on top? Yeah, and that's that where little, it's clipping. Yeah, that's the clipping. And watch when oh, I take it down, cool. the clipping stops. Yeah. Okay, so now let's see what got happens it. with... Wow, okay. So this, this Crest amp sounds like that with clipping. Yeah, got it. Uh, on its own. Let's try clipping with a pulse. Quiet. Mm-hmm. One side's clipping. Yeah. And we hear... Yeah. Now, now we see, see it funky. Can we hear it without the um, cancellation for a minute? Uh-huh. Okay. And we're not clipping here. Yeah. We go to you clip. You can hear this a little bit. Yeah. There's the clipping. It's sharp. Yeah. yeah. Now we can do that same thing with yeah, music. Yeah, let's hear music. I want to hear music. It's right at the end of the song. Let's do pink and then we'll go to music. Okay. <laughs> Save the best for last. This is with cancellation without clipping. Yeah. And we, you know, some of the sound we're hearing is just... Me not getting the cancellation. Yeah, it's... So it's not just that the pink noise coming through is where it's Distort, yeah. distorting. It's just listening to different... Ooh, crackly. Now that's what's added in. So if yeah. we were running a PA... Let's do the music now. It should be going. So there's the music. Can we hear the music really quick without um, yes. cancellation? are loud. Now we're at minus 30. And we hear nothing. Minus 20. Minus 10. So. Oh, well, a beautiful kick drum to add to the mix. So this amp, when driven hard, you're at a gig and you're running it in This is what it's going to sound like. This is going to be the thing that's right added. there is yeah. being added to mm -hmm. the signal. That's the difference between the two mm -hmm. channels. Now, some of that's a little misleading because 
not all that volume is being added. That just means it is different. So mm -hmm. maybe when it's clipping, it's turning it down a little bit. Yeah. Because of the overload, and then that jumps out. So like you might that, not yeah. be able to hear it very much, but that's the thing. Yeah. That's the essence of what's that's being added. That's the sound of this amp. <laughs> and we could do all three at once. Oh. We could not do all three at <laughs> once. Bad. All right, so that's interesting. Cool. This is a way to listen. Now I've got these other amps here. I've got um, this is the Crest amp. It's an old fifty pound, like six hundred watt per channel amp. How old is this? Oh, mid eighties, I'm thinking. Okay. Um, mid to late eighties. Uh, I've got a Lab Group and FP sixty four hundred, which is kind of a the flagship of the lightweight amps. A mm. really cool light, weighs less, puts out twice, two or three times the power, and it's half the weight. Um, I've got a Chevin Q6, which is a four channel, high fidelity, mm. lightweight, um, light, say in the lab group and range of uh, technology. And then I've got two new amps. I've got a PowerSoft X4, which is half the height of this, mm. and it puts out 5,000 watts per channel. And this puts out like 1,200 watts, or 5,000 uh, oh, watts. Oh, wow. Okay. So, so it, way more. It puts out 20,000 watts, and it's one half the size. And, and those are a lot newer. Yeah, modern, Not real anymore. modern technology. And then I've got a L Acoustics LA12X, which is Ooh. kind of the flagship of cool amps. So I'm gonna we'll be we can listen to the distortion what, of what all changes? the different. Yeah, between new and old amps. What changes in the change between the different signals in different amps? Yeah, um, yeah, to be cool. able to, and also the linearity too. So we can hear, like, the fact that this amp through a wide range, all the way up to clipping, we hear, that's clipping, but almost no difference. I mean, it's, it's, we're driving this thing 30, 40 dB mm. louder and it's barely changing the volume. Means that the amp's very linear, even mm. though they're driven at different levels. Um, there's one more interesting thing about this amp, and it's different, I've tested the other, started testing the other amps. Mm -hmm. In these old amps, they had these transformers and power supply, power supplies with transformers and capacitors. So it just takes the voltage and makes it into DC rails for the voltage, whatever, it puts, makes DC rails out of it. And um, these rails are, uh, let's go ahead and listen to it and I'll show you. So we'll put the tone on. Uh-huh. The a tone. Now watch what happens when I lower the tone down. Mm -hmm. You know it's oscillating? Whoa, yeah. whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. Look at what frequency we're at. We're at 108 right now, 102, 99, 93, 86, 81. Hey, listen. becoming more uh, time between them. 67, 65. Oh, that's weird. Why did it stop at 60? Does the amp not go? What's wall voltage? Frequency? What's wall voltage? Oh. 120 volt, 60 cycle. Oh, okay. What's happening is I have a 60 cycle tone mm -hmm. and we're clipping the amp. And when yeah. the amp clips, it shows the power supply rails and the power supply rails are controlled off the wall voltage. Mm. And so the frequency of the voltage coming into the amp mm. is being heard on the output. Okay. That probably doesn't make a lot of sense. It doesn't make a lot of sense, but um, there's a lot of interesting yeah. ideas there. <laughs> You know, basically, basically the way the power supply works is the transformer takes the voltage in, it's 120 volts, and it runs it, no, the transformer, it runs it into a transformer, and then it runs it into a bridge rectifier. A bridge rectifier takes this sine wave mm -hmm. and changes it into two signals. One that's a bunch of mountains, and one that's a bunch of anti-mountains. Yeah. And then you end up with these two signals. Yeah. Then they put capacitors on it. That instead of mountain, it goes, oh, Instead of mm -hmm. letting it go down, it carries a little voltage, and you end up with this. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So now you've got, and then you might s smooth it out, but this, the power, the plus voltage, 
mm-hmm. and the minus voltage have little ripples on them. Yeah. Now, those are the like the, the power supply. That's the power source. That's the reservoir. Yeah. Then the way amp works, it takes the uh-huh. input signal yeah. and it draws from the two reservoirs and puts it on the output. Mm-hmm. But when you run it up all the way, instead of doing the output doing a bigger version of the input, some of the echoes of the reservoir mm-hmm. are shown, the ripples on the top. So is what we're hearing, we're hearing the reservoir ripples. Yeah. Okay. Well, only when it's in distortion. Only when it's in distortion. And we're going to see on the other amps it doesn't do that. Okay. It only does it on the older amps. Oh, weird. Okay. Because of these way these older power supplies are. So this mm. is really cool. It's really stable. The distortion doesn't sound bad. Consider, I mean, it does sound bad. Yeah, but, but it's not like the We're going to hear one. other distortions as well. Okay. Um, the, but power supply ripple is actually audible in the um interesting okay okay i'm I'm like i think you need to tell me more about that in maybe a different video but Now we're locked. (laughs) Yeah. Interesting. Um, Okay. All right. Maybe not that useful, but interesting. (laughs) Um, In any case, we can hear distortion. We can hear. Yeah. And we're going to look at it uh, with a diff- bunch of diff- different amps. Yeah, we'll do another amp. Okay, cool. Okay. Sounds good. Thanks, Sam. Yeah, thank you. Okay. <laughs>